welcome bitches one and all to my reaction to episode 7 of Love Victor. What happens in Willacoochee? Willacoochee. What the fuck is Willacoochee? So last episode was focused on Victor and Mia and wanting to take it to the next step. The whole premise was that Victor was not ready for them to go to the next step. Whether that be he's simply not ready or simply because he's questioning whether he's into Mia in the first place. Because this is the problem. Even Victor doesn't really know how he's feeling. I'm enjoying the way that they're using Simon. I said this last episode, where they're using Simon as like the... Like he knows Victor better than Victor knows himself, essentially. Where he's giving him advice that... I don't know, the you as a viewer are seeing as well that Victor needs to hear. Because Simon was backing up the idea that Victor... Based on, la based on that night, Victor isn't ready to be with Mia because he doesn't like Mia in that way. Which is fine, but it's absolutely fine because he's trying to figure stuff out. The thing is he just needs to let Mia know because the longer that he drags it on, the worse it's going to be. Because Victor needs to, for himself, experiment to find out if he is into girls or if he has to come to this conclusion that he isn't and all of the problems that would come with it with his family and everything. But again, you, <laughs> there's the argument that is that fair to Mia? Because... Like I said before, she's being used as this, like, experiment to see if he is into her or not. But I don't know. There's no, like, malicious intent on Victor's part. It's not... It's not like he's... Isn't in... He's not questioning whether he's into Mia. Like, he truly do does think that they could have a chance. I just... I don't know. We also had the... Not really revelation, because they've been hinting at it for a while. The... Andrew was the guy at summer camp that Mia got with. And I don't, I don't like that because the, the whole time in this series, I've not been a fan of Andrew. He's come across as very, I mean, a bully, because that's, the, that's how they've written the character, is to be a bully. I really do like Mia. Even though I want Victor to be a Benji in the end, it doesn't mean that I don't want happiness for Mia. Which, Andrew is just not the one. He's just come off as such a dickhead, and I, I don't want that for her. I'd rather she find someone worthy of her. And speaking of, I am not a fan of having Lake and Felix together. I've said it before, but I'm just... I don't like Lake. I don't know whether this is an unpopular opinion or if it's going to change in the future, but I just I don't like her. Her whole attitude. She's so rude and mean. The way she treated Felix, like they were kissing and she was saying that she doesn't want anyone to find out because it's embarrassing. Like, what? Like, I love Felix. He's so nice. Like... He deserves a lot better than that. I'm sorry, I've said it. We also have another relationship with Benji and Derek that I really want to end because Derek is a twat. He is so... I don't know how to even begin to explain my dislike for Derek. When he did that whole run about anniversaries and the whole how it's a heteronormative thing that they don't have to conform to, I just... I was sat there just so confused. Like, what? It just didn't make any sense to me. All you should be seeing is the fact that he's made this dinner for you and he's gone through all this effort and you're just going to sit there and throw it in his face. And then even then, after he realised that he'd upset Benji and he apologised, he still mentioned about going to the music thing. Even after Benji said, no, I'm going to stay here and clean up. Like, clean up the dinner that he made for you and you're going to leave him. It's fucking... Oh, it made me so angry. I do not like Derek. So yeah, I hope in this episode we get to see Victor. We've got four episodes left, but I want to start seeing Victor come to terms with how he's feeling and start to figure it out and essentially break things off with Mia before it gets too late. So yes, with that said, let's begin. Victor, how'd it go with Mia? Oh, I like that shirt, man. Oh my god, Simon. <laughs> Oh my god. Honestly, Simon, is sex such a big deal? I mean, he has a point. Like, there are plenty of relationships that you don't need sex with. I just don't think that's Victor's issue. Look, about last night, I, I'm sorry I freaked out like I did. It's okay. I liked how Mia handled it. Such a nice girl. I love tiny quiches and old people, and don't even get me started <laughs> on silent auctions. I'm always oh. wishing regular auctions would shut up. Yeah, I think you need to shut up. Hmm. <laughs> Happy Aww. and normal. <laughs> they are cute. This show just fucks with my head. Hey. Hi. Loved your Instagram post this morning. 
felt cute might delete later, you are, and yes, shouldn't. <laughs> Thanks. Felix. <sighs> what? Huh. Oh, here? Now? Awesome. What do you think no. of my We never hooked up, okay? Yeah. It can never happen again. Such a bitch. I'm sorry if you like her. I'm sorry, but... Felix deserves a lot better than that. And that is a fact. What if I went back to giving piano lessons? No. I'm doing really good right now. You do not need to work, amor. Mm. Victor, thank God you're here. Something terrible has happened. The espresso machine is busted. Sarah's just being uh, dramatic. I am oh, Benji. Victor, you stay here and man the store. Benji, <laughs> you and I are driving to the repair- I'm a bit blown away, guys. I won't lie to you. <laughs> Um, Bloody hell. How far is Willacoochee? Because I have a thing at Mia's today that I can't miss. Oh, it's like a couple of hours. But if we leave now, get there by 10, get this thing fixed by lunch, we can have you back by 4. That's cutting it close. Please, Victor. I, I can't do another road trip with Sarah. Oh no, he's going to miss it and then there's going to be a whole drama about it. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'll let you know. Great. You're driving. No license. I keep failing the test. <laughs> I love how the manager gave him the keys to take my car without knowing he doesn't have a license. <laughs> I remember how nervous I was to introduce my first boyfriend to my dad, <laughs> Pete Hadley. My dad hated him. But in his defense, Pete showed up hungover and he threw up in our bird bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great story, Veronica. Mia! Mia! He just does not like me, which is fine. I'm dating you and not her. Look, just give it time. Oh, I feel so bad for her. She comes across so nice. Oh, hey, is uh, Victor around? I need some lady advice. Not here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> How many of her posts do you like? All of them. Sometimes I unlike a post just to re-like it to make sure she saw that I liked it. Oh, Felix. We could go cold turkey. No phones, no temptation. Oh, I... Adrian? Yeah? I need you to make those disappear. Make what disappear? Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you so close? You mean, since I came out? Oh. We're not estranged or anything. But it's not the same as before. Yeah. That's really shitty. It is. Ugh. Hey, fuck you, dirt. I'm not gonna force you to road trip with me and then just talk to my boyfriend the whole time. Papi, that was good. Uh, but mm, just remember, I'm as not well, this ain't gonna go well if you're not gonna talk to. Piano lessons. Adrian, uh -oh. back on the keys. No, we're actually making an Instagram video for Mommy's new piano lesson business. And here we go. You have a discussion about it. I know she tried and he shut her down, but... I know. I know I don't have to work. I want to work. Why are you being like this is just piano lessons? Your piano mm. lessons is how you and Roger ended up... Yeah. ...getting so close. How many times do I have to promise that that is never going to happen again? But this is the issue, love. When you cheat, you can't expect promises to just work. Music is my passion. I love teaching. I'm good at it. Why well, do you see if you can get a job at a school or something, rather than doing freelance? When are you going to start trusting me again? Love. This is the problem with cheating. In some cases, you can never go back to the way it was. It's just the way it is. You've betrayed trust on a level that is irreparable. And you haven't met one person at Creekwood you like hanging out with. Nope. Or anyone that wants to hang out with me. I'm kind of an acquired taste. Hey, for hmm. what it's worth, I do like coffee. Oh. Do you want to get coffee? I feel like they could right. be a good friendship. Do you want to get coffee? I'd love to. Oh. So what's the damage? And can it be fixed in an hour or two? I really need to get back to Atlanta. Yeah, boys, I know you're in a hurry, but this old machine is like my wife at a train station. When I try to rush her, she insists we have time to get soup. She orders the soup. 
She makes some toast, the bread bowl. Mate, what part of we're in a hurry do you not understand? The Muse thing is super fancy. Okay, well, I saw a thrift shop on the way into town. And we have time to kill. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Uh, are you on your way back? Or oh shit. Get here? Um, not quite. It's already begun. Uh, the machine's taking longer than we thought, so I'll probably miss the auction part, but I'll be there for the back half, and I'm actually picking out a special outfit for it right now. I feel bad for Mia because she's in a very uncomfortable situation there, and she has to. Maybe oh for no. You. This is my house. What's your excuse? Ooh. Hey, so Sarah called. She said to stay in a motel if the machine isn't ready tonight. We would stay the night here? Yeah, don't worry. I know you need to get back. So let's just pay, drive over to the repair guy, and light a fire under his ass. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hey. You just finished up your repair. So it's, it's ready? Yeah, it's ready. <clears throat> uh, hey. I just spoke to Wally. So we're going to need to spend the night. But Victor! <laughs> Victor! No! Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Stop apologizing. Really, I'm not mad. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk later. You are allowed to be there, Mia. Like... Bye. You know, I feel like I know that voice, and you were definitely mad. He's not coming, is he? Andrew, I'm really not in the mood. You hungry? It's literally my favorite food in the entire world. <laughs> I forget that you're actually okay when you're not busy being the absolute worst. And he was like this all the time. Andrew, right. Just happy to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be What's wrong with you? How come we never talked about what happened between us? Because there's nothing to talk about. It was a mistake. You know, if you didn't like me, then how come you called me up in the middle of the night? Because the my mom called me. <gasps> she didn't even say anything, but I knew it was her. And we just stayed on the phone in silence for like a minute. And then she hung up. Some screwed up way. I think it was her version of a goodbye. I just needed to feel something else, so I called you. I'm sorry, Andrew. I mean, you were just a very bad idea on a very bad night. Damn. In a way, you could say it's unfair to him, but I do not appreciate the way he behaves around people, so I'm not really concerned. Nicole from theater? Nicole from Woodshop? Nicole from tea making? Sorry, there's a lot of Nicole's in Creekwood. Chemistry, keep up. Sorry, I feel like I should be taking notes. <laughs> hmm. I enjoy this dynamic. Well, I haven't even thought about Lake. Nice. No, no, Lake. Oh, hey, what up? Nothing, nothing. Other than the fact that I posted nine Instagrams today and you didn't like any of them. And you like everything. You even liked it that time I accidentally butt posted a picture of the inside of my pocket. <laughs> Getting a bit jealous now, are we, love? I've realized I was coming on too strong. It's just when the best thing that ever happens to you actually happens, you try to do whatever you can to keep it going. We'll meet me in the bathroom in two minutes. Pilla! <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Yeah, all right, because I had such a great time hanging out with you. I did too. <laughs> and there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be. Oh, that was really no, no, no. I was wrong. If this is what you want to do, then you should do it. Thank you. Yeah. We still don't know what he did. The thing that he didn't want to tell the kids about. Did everybody leave? Almost. Dean is still here. He and your dad are comparing their favorite scenes from the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> That's why I'm in here. 
<laughs> Poor Pete Hadley. I didn't understand why he even showed up to meet my dad if he was that drunk. So I asked him, and you know what he said? He said, you always show up for the people that you love, no matter how many whiskey sours you've had. I'm sorry that tonight didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Yeah. Good night, Veronica. Good night, Mia. Suppose her not being completely rude to you is development. <laughs> Hey, look, you could just sleep on the bed and I'll sleep on the floor. floor. <laughs> Victor. Come on, there's plenty of room. I uh, thought you never passed your driver's test. Before I came out, I was kind of a mess. I knew I was gay, but I didn't want to be. So I drank a lot. Fortunately, a common problem. One night, I got super wasted and decided that I wanted Wendy's, so I took my dad's car to the drive-thru and that's exactly what I did. Drove through. The Wendy's. Oh my god. Luckily no one was hurt. But I told my dad's car. Wow. <laughs> that must have gone down well. It made me realize that I could have died without ever really being who I was. So that's when I came out. Damn. Thank you for telling me. Mm -hmm. Of course. You are so easy to talk to. Oh. I'm glad you started working at Brass Town. <laughs> me too. My heart can't handle this. I guess we should probably get to sleep, huh? Yeah, yeah. We should. Mm. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Vinci. Victor, wait. Oh my god. Oh, Victor. I can't keep denying this. I am what you think I am, but but I, I hate it. Oh, Victor. I don't want my life to be this hard. Oh, fucking hell! <sighs> right, another drive home as well. Jesus. Hey, Benji, look. I, let's just listen to the radio. Oh no, Victor. It breaks my heart to hear you talk about yourself like that. Yeah. You're perfect. If you could only see what my life is like in New York, you'd see that there's a world beyond high school. Oh, come on. Come on, you need it. Fucking hell. What an episode, my God. My heart. The relationships in this show are just all so complicated. You got Victor and Benji who, after what Victor just did, I don't know how that's going to go. I feel so bad for Victor. I truly, I truly hope that this trip to New York happens and he can see Simon and talk some shit through and just like get to know himself better. Oh, I just feel so bad for him. We've also got Victor and Mia where Victor has let down Mia big time. That was a big night for her in terms of she evidently doesn't like these kind of situations with dad, with her dad's auctions and She's around her dad's new girlfriend. She hasn't really got any friends there. Like, it would have been a big help to have Victor there. And he... Because th he, like, chose not to go. That's the issue. That's what he's done wrong. He should have just left when he did. I don't know. This is the problem. People are doing things wrong. Like, Victor's done stuff that's wrong. But I can see why he's done it. And I don't blame him for it. You know what I mean? You've just got Andrew trying his fucking hardest to get to Mia. And I just... I don't trust it. I really don't trust it, because if you've got someone who behaves the way he does in public, and then he behaves like that behind closed doors, where he's nice, I don't trust it. You should be like that all the time. You shouldn't be different when you're around people you like, in terms of being a nice person to them, but a bad person to everyone else. You know what I mean? It's just not right. I really enjoyed the friendship of Felix and Pilar. I didn't expect it, I didn't really see it coming, but I don't know. I just love it with those two together. It's a bit weird to be friends with your, like, best friend's sister, but each to their own. 
We also saw a side of Lake that we haven't seen yet, which is her getting... I don't know if you count it as jealousy. I took it as jealousy, where Felix hadn't been liking her photos or anything, her posts on Instagram. And she immediately noticed and was like, what the fuck? But then she came in and said, like, meet me in the bathroom and all that, like, secret again. And I... Felix doesn't deserve that. You know? I don't know how I feel about them. Until I see something that makes me appreciate Lake and start to actually like her, I'm not going to be supportive of that relationship. I, sh I don't like his. I don't think it's good for Felix. I just don't know what's going to happen with Victor and Benji. Like, Victor fucked that up big time. Because you've got Benji sitting there with a boyfriend and he, like, he's essentially cheated on him, but it wasn't his fault slash choice, if you know what I mean. He did lean into the kiss with Victor, but still, it's just... The issue I have is, I don't really care about Derek or his feelings or anything, like, I don't give a shit. But it's more so caring about Benji, and I don't want Benji to feel bad about himself because of what happened, you know? I just really hope everyone, <laughs> all of these relationships, they're in such turmoil. I want them to, like, figure their shit out, end the ones that need to end, and everyone just figure out what they want, you know? Just figure out what they want with their lives. Because it's just too much at the moment. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link to my Patreon down below where you'll be able to find the uncut reactions to Love Victor and all the other shows that I do. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.